Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1045. If you want to download this workbook 1043 to 1046, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have a data set, and we want to find the modes with conditional formatting. But the problem is the mode is the one that occurs most frequently. Well, there's 367, and there's 372. So this has multiple modes. Well, we're going to conditionally format it, and we're going to use a formula, a true-false logical formula. And we're going to use a function that's only available in Excel 2010 or later. There's a great for well, the mode functions. Mode, that's the old one. It would only give you the first one to encounter, which is 67. Mode.single, that's equivalent to this mode, but it's a 2010 statistical function. Here's the one we want, 2010. Mode multiple, you simply highlight. Now, this will deliver multiple values. It's an array function because it's delivering an array of values. If I highlight it and hit F9, there's the two values. Now, we want to do conditional formatting. So we're going to check every single cell, because with conditional formatting, each cell has to get either a true, you get the formatting, or false, you don't. So I'm going to put this inside of the OR. The OR is a logical function where you can have multiple logical tests. And if any one of them comes out true, then OR will deliver a true. So what do we do? That's an array of values. I'm going to say, are any of you in that array equal to this? Now, this is an array operation. If I were to highlight right this, this right now, it would give me two falses, F9, Control-Z. But here's this magic we've been exploring in the last couple videos. This is an array function delivering multiple values. So watch this. I'm going to Control-Enter, and I don't see any curly brackets. I didn't have to enter this array formula with Control-Shift-Enter. I'm going to copy it down here, and sure enough, it works. Now, let's check this out. If we come here and highlight this, we can see F9. There's a true for finding the 67 and a false because it's not equal to 70 true. But the OR will see one of the trues and deliver a true. Now, oh, I forgot to lock this. I'm surprised it worked at all. What do I F4 to lock it. Notice I highlighted just a little bloop right there. And that did the whole thing, Control-Enter, and then double-click and send it down. So now we're getting the right pattern of trues for all of our 72s or 67. Now, we want to use this formula. The only reason we did it in the cells here is because it's just easier to build our formula and see. We would then delete this column, right? But I'm going to copy the formula. And now I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to use Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, or Alt-O-D, Alt-N, arrow, 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 tab, and that dialog uh, text box right there, I Control-V, and that's our formula. I'm going to click Format and click uh, the yellow there, whatever formatting you want. Click OK, click OK three times, and sure enough. If I were to change this all to 55, right? So now only the 55s, because there's only one. If I changed all of these to 72, now, whoops, that's too many. And then I'll change this to something like that. And so now it is all dynamic. Control Z, Z, Z. All right, we'll see you next trick.